All right, in this segment, we're gonna talk about now the engine area and really the rear deck on the 190 FSH. This is gonna be the 2019 through current model years, uh, for those of you that are looking for a specific model year. Uh, Yamaha made a lot of improvements in this area, uh, specifically the seats. Let's focus on that first. Uh, right off, just like in 2016, 17, and 18 models, you'll see that you've got this convertible leaning post. So if I'm driving, I wanna choose this option here where I can sit and face forward, but if I'm a, uh, at anchor, if I'm fishing or just hanging out, I'm going to convert this, just simply flip it forward. It's a really cool feature. Uh, it doesn't require any, any special tooling, you just simply move it as you need. Underneath, normally there would be a cooler here. We left it behind today, but there is a nice igloo cooler that comes standard with the boat. On this side here, we're going to have our access to our batteries as well as storage. And if you notice, there's a really cool new feature that we did not see in 2016 through 18 models. That's the addition of this backrest and this removable seat. So why did Yamaha choose to do it this way? What we found was, is on the first generation, there was a flip seat that kind of folded down, it flipped up. And it sat down very low, so the person was sitting in that seat kind of felt kind of encapsulated. Also, it was a very small area, so really only little kids could sit there. Anybody that was a larger guy, you weren't gonna sit in that seat. Uh, but it also encroached on a lot of the storage space. So what the engineers decided to do was to add this optional cushion that could be snapped into place very quickly and then with the addition of the backrest, simply just take this uh, aluminum um, beam here that slides into a slot. And now we have a backrest that's gonna engage your uh, lower lumbar. So while we're cruising, we got lots of support. And uh, when you get where you're gonna stop, you just take that out and stow it away. One of the interesting points I found out from one of the engineers was they tested this with a 200 pound weight and they literally slammed it with a, a weight to see if it would break and it did not break. So this is uh, durable, it's designed to last. Uh, inside this area, let's go ahead and talk about this for a moment. If you bring the camera over. This is gonna be access to storage as well as your batteries. There's a fire extinguisher. You've got your uh, power switches when you wanna turn the engines on or off, or the power on or off. Uh, being able to select between battery one, battery two. You do have a house battery as well as a start battery. You've probably noticed a couple of hoses in there, and those hoses are basically just channeling water outside the boat uh, to get water off the boat. So lots and lots and lots of storage this year on that side. Big improvement. Let's move over to the other side. So inside this storage area here, we can just open the latch, open it with the cushion in place. You'll see we've got a large live well. This comes with the built-in aerator here, so we can actually pump water in and also circulate water to keep the fish alive inside for our bait fish. I wanna also note this uh, container here, looks like it's probably about double the size of previous years, so there's a lot more room now for your live well. A little storage pocket in the back here. Also looks like we have a nice stainless strut here, which is very nice. Now moving into the engine area, if we bring the camera around this side, your engine compartment. Pretty standard for what you'd see. This is a typical Yamaha 1.8 liter engine, uh, 180 horse. Now in 2019 models, this was the biggest engine available. 2020 models, you'll see a 195 option is available with the 250 horse package. So that's something you may see on the newer models. Prior, prior to that, it was the 180 horsepower only. Pretty standard engine compartment for the 180 horsepower option. Lots of things that are easy to get to and easy to access. For instance, on top of this cover here plate, this is your oil fill. You have two screws to take this off. You'll get access to your coil packs and then being able to do your spark plug changes. You also have an air filter on this side here, easy access. Your oil filter is over on this side over here. So that makes it really easy to do your oil changes in case you decide to do your own. All right, that's all for the engine compartment. One last point feature I wanna point out uh, in this area, we have a fire port, so your fire extinguisher that comes with the boat. You'll simply plug your fire extinguisher into this opening here if you ever had a fire in the engine uh, room. That way you don't introduce any additional oxygen into the situation. It's always good to minimize that, so that's a really cool feature Yamaha has added. And while we're down here, I'll pull this back. This is access for mechanical up underneath here. So if we decide that we want to uh, do any additional uh, upgrades later on, adding wiring, pulling wiring, it's easy to get access from there and running things from the rear to the front, getting it into the console. So it makes it easy for you to do so. All right, well that rounds out this rear deck area here on the 190 FSH. For more information about this boat specifically, visit yamahaboats.com. You can also reach out to us at jetboatpilot.com. Through the contact us page, you can find any information to get in touch with us. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. If you like this video, if it's been helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button below. That's really helpful for us. I'm sure it'll be helpful for you. We put out nothing but content related to jet boats, so we'll put much, much more out like this if you like this video. Once again, we appreciate you watching this video today. We hope it was helpful to you. Thanks. Have a great day.